How's it going everyone, Lee Cypher here, hope you're all doing great. In today's video we will be doing the lazy admin room from TryHack Me. It's an easy machine and has a total of two flags. I already have the machine deployed here to save us time. As always before you start your in-map scan make sure to ping the machine to make sure it's up. After you get back response initiate your in-map scan. My flags here as usual, dash SS for TCP sense scan dash a for aggressive scan dash o and for normal output and store the scan results in a file called mmapscan.log and the ip address of the machine once the scan is complete you will find two ports open ssh on port 22 apache http on port 80. proceeding with directory fuzzing using puff we will discover one directory here called content now when you go to the main page, you will get back Apache default page. Now when you navigate the account in directory, you will learn that it's running Sweet Rice CMS. Running search exploit to find any known exploits, you will discover an arbitrary file upload exploit. Copy or mirror this exploit to your current working directory with a dash M flag. Then run this exploit with Python 3. You'll find out that you need login credentials to run this exploit. When you fuzz the content directory for subdirectories, you will discover a directory called INC. When you navigate to that directory, you'll find a disclosed SQL backup file. Download that file and open it with any text editor. Once you open that file, you will find a long line in which you will find the username which is manager and the hash password. Copy this hash and go to crackstation.net and decrypt it. Now get a PHP reverse shell to your current working directory and open it to change the IP address and the port. Also make sure to rename the reverse shell file and append the PHP 5 extension because it's only allowed PHP extension. Now run the exploit again and supply the credentials and the PHP reverse shell file. Once the file is uploaded, set a NICAL listener and use curl to execute the reverse shell. Once the reverse shell returns, upgrade it by spawning a TTY shell with Python 3. Then hit Ctrl plus Z to background the shell. Then type STTY raw minus echo. Then FG. When you type FG, it won't be displayed in your terminal, but it will still be written. Enter a couple of times and finally export term equals X term. Before we escalate to root, get the user flag from the home IT guide directory. Now when you run sudo l, you'll find out that you can run a Perl script as root. This Perl script executes another bash script called copy.sh. When you check the permissions for that bash script, you'll find it writable by everyone. So let's edit it and comment this reverse shell and add our own reverse shell. Set a netcal listener and use sudo to execute the script. And that's the room. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value in it. Please make sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And see you in the next video. Peace. We'll